Hi there! Today we're making art with the September Art Snacks Plus box. Well, not the box, but like the contents of the box. Anyway, let's find out what's inside. <laughs> Inside our bubble wrap bag, we have this month's candy, which is a Laffy Taffy. We have a Marvy water brush with a large tip. Some Dela Rowney Aquafine watercolor ink. The color looks really familiar. I like how it looks. And it is in the color cobalt blue hue. We also have the two menus for this month. We have the regular Art Snacks box menu as well as the, the Art Snacks Plus menu with its exclusive supplies. And lastly, this tissue paper with some more in supplies inside. I never do this very gracefully. <laughs> All right, looks like, ooh, there's a lot in here. The pixelated camo Art Snacks sticker. This Princeton number no. eight snap filbert brush. We have two midline brush pens. One side is a super fine nib and the other side has a brush nib. I'm gonna guess these are watercolor ink of some kind. We have a small Le Pen Flex, also by Marvy and made in Japan. Felt tip pen is what it looks like, but it's very, very fine point. Not only is the barrel teal, but it looks like the ink is also teal. Sometimes you can never tell, you know? <laughs> and finally, this hot pink crink marker. You know I like crink markers, but they are stinky, so now I gotta open a window. And this is the K11, and it is in the color fluorescent pink. So if you've never used these before, you, they are paint inside of a marker, and you have to prep them. So you give them a little shake, and then you press them down on the nib to release the ink. Wow, look how bright that stuff is. I'm excited to use that one. And finally, because this is the Art Snacks Plus box, it always comes with a full-size pad of paper. And this time, it looks like it is plain air mixed media art boards. This thing is very thick and there's only 10 sheets. So these are going to be quite thick. Oh, oh and they have their logo on the back. That's interesting. Yeah, they have <laughs> the wibble wobble factor is minimal. <laughs> How cool is that? Open. This is everything in the September Art Snacks Plus box. I do have to send a big thank you to Art Snacks for not only sending me this box to try out and to share with you guys, but for also sponsoring the video so that I can give away my art supplies almost every week. So I will be doing a giveaway of these art supplies. There'll be a link down in the description, as well as a link to Art Snacks official website where you can order either the Art Snacks or the Art Snacks Plus box. And I've been given a code waffles for 10% off your first order on either the Art Snacks or the Art Snacks Plus box subscription. Thanks Art Snacks and I'm really excited to have a little fun with these <laughs> before I pass them along. So this honestly is really exciting. I don't know if anyone else realizes this. Test out the supplies. Feels like a shame testing these on this awesome art board. Maybe if I keep it up in the top corner it won't be, won't be such a waste. It's almost like a brush nib. It has a bit of a well, a flex to it. Yeah, it's water-based, so if you keep going over the same spot, it is going to start ripping up the paper. Let's try these two. All right, this one's vermilion, and this one is pink. Okay, these look like they're water-based as well. I don't wanna go to the sink. <laughs> Awful. That didn't take long at all. I wonder if we should just put the ink straight into here instead of putting water in that. And that creates our own, like, brush pen. We'll see. I haven't made up my mind. See if we have any effects on what we've already placed. Okay, this one's definitely lifting. Oh, I love these markers. And this one is so bright. I wonder if I can lift that with water before it dries. Oh, it dries pretty fast. Yeah, and then once it's dry, it doesn't really do much. Some really strange colors so far. Whenever I start swatching the supplies, I try to like visualize, hmm, how would I use this? How would I use that? And right now, nothing's like jumping out at me. All right, let's test out the, the watercolor ink. One is straight ink, one I added water to, and it's kind of like separating. We need to mix it. It does seem to be really opaque, which is cool. We have some with the water. It definitely lightens it up a bit. Definitely gonna need a little brainstorming session here. <laughs> Figure out how I can use these colors in some cohesive way that doesn't look like garbage. 
We didn't include a pencil, so I'm gonna grab one of my own. I think my mechanical pencil must be somewhere else. <laughs> so I don't have to use this to start warming up. Loosening up that wrist, drawing something I'm good at before I try drawing something I'm not so good at. <laughs> That's usually a good plan. Just some kind of face with space buns. And I can also like throw colors on it to see how they interact with each other that maybe swatching didn't quite tell me. Give her a cute outfit, maybe. Now I don't think these colors are going to work in an illustration, kind of like the one I've been putting together right now, only because of, they're all pretty vibrant. So I'm not sure a character would be the right way to go. There's no wrong way to experiment. So I just gotta throw it on there. Then I picture like the hot pink kind of creating a sticker shape around her. Let's do it right on top of the wet ink and see what happens. Never tried that. It kind of blends together. This marker doesn't look quite as opaque when I paint it over the wet because it's obviously mixing with the color underneath it. Oh, it's not quite as opaque as I thought it was. You can still kind of see the pencil. Maybe erase the face a little and go over it with our Le Pen. These colors actually look kind of nice together so far. Now that these have dried, you can see the ink that I didn't mix with any water is doesn't have a whole lot of texture on it. It's got a nice clean finish. And then as I added water, it kind of gets noisier. I mean, obviously lighter as well, but I just had a pretty good idea. I think this color is reminding me of like, sort of like a vintage denim. So I drew this little guy <laughs> all decked out in denim. And I thought this color would be really fun for like, you know how denim has that contrasting thread? if we use this crink marker for that. So that is what I think I wanna go with. I'm gonna draw like a big one here. And if I really like it, then we can move on maybe to filling an entire board. We got a face. <laughs> I always do this. I just use little lines to kind of signify where I want things. Because if you put too much detail into the face before you've even drawn the body, you're gonna run into a bunch of trouble. You wanna be nice and quick and really lay out the character before you start putting in too much detail. Nice huge collar. <laughs> Hopefully these hands are being drawn the correct direction. Don't wanna make that mistake again. This isn't quite looking the way I pictured. I'm gonna give it a few minutes, see if I can salvage it. But if I don't like it after that, I'll probably try something new. I think it's just this shoulder area. I just, I think I might be able to get this. If we twist it a little bit, so the shoulder will be here, other shoulders down here, some neck muscles. Brows are flipped around too. I want this closer one to be lower. And we'll figure that out. We lower the arms down. Give him a little bit of a chicken dance pose. But he's like tugging on his coat. He's gotta slowly work at it. It is growing on me. Kinda like trying to mix it between like a leather jacket and a denim jacket. I'm gonna give him a little fingerless gloves. Just need to figure out the hair situation and then I might be ready to start. Uh... Actually, I don't know what the first step would be. Would it be adding color or trying to maybe do line art? Oh, I can't do line art first if I'm using that because it does reactivate with water. So color, I guess, is the first step. I feel like it's pretty soft and fluid. Doesn't look too stiff. I'm trying to like create the illusion that this collar is folding. So I'm trying to like draw the underside and the inside at the same time. All right, so I think step one, goodbye nice sketch, is going to be erasing lightly because you can still see pencil underneath this ink and we want that to be minimal. Make sure I stay inside the lines. This brush can get really, really thin if you twist it. So I've been using that to fill in some of the smaller shapes. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to this for these layers that are kind of overlapping. What's cool about this watercolor ink is it cleans up real, real easy. <laughs> I think I would like it to be a lighter blue wash for the, the pants as well. So I'm going to go in with our water mixture there. See, now I'm getting that texture. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I probably should have done the top that way too. It's giving it that like noisy texture that reminds me so much more of denim. I think I'll use the Le Pen Flex and outline some of my favorite lines here. Oh, you can get a nice fine point with this. Yes. Oh, and if you push harder, you can get a thicker line. This is a pretty cool pen. Look at that 
cheekbone. <clears throat> kind of messed up the nose right at the last second. That little top line was supposed to be upwards a little bit more. That's not entirely realistic, but what do I draw is entirely realistic. What does it look like on top of blue? Interesting. With this character, I had this like fluorescent pink. I kind of want to do that around the eyes and everything. Could even color in the ears pink. It kind of looks like mouse ears now that they're pink. Add shading with this. Even just outline it maybe. A finer point brush would work a lot better for this. <laughs> kind of just spilled some ink down here. <laughs> Trying to make it look like a foot even though that's not where the foot would be. Now this is dry. I can try adding some of that contrasting thread. Adding little dashes all down the leg. See how I feel about this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, the same. <laughs> I don't love it anymore. I don't know. I'm a sketcher. As soon as you start adding color, I just uh, I'm gonna fall out of love. Just put my finger in it. At least he has the hands now. I'm gonna go ahead and color in the hair with this. And since it is water soluble, I can pull one of these. Mix it all around. Plans to kind of just blend out the strokes. You can't tell I used a pen. It does feel like the paper's ripping a little, but not to the point where obviously I'm going to put a hole in it. It's just like a thin layer. It's kind of lifting. I'm going to try using this vermilion brush and add some... Sh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ew, it's muddy. No! Stay away from this color. It just doesn't fit the color scheme. <laughs> add some seams in and some buttons. I just love the way this color looks on top of white. It must be a little bit transparent which is why when I put it over top of the blue it kind of turns into a purple which I don't quite love as much as this very vibrant pink. I feel like I just wasted one of these ports. Jeez <laughs> uh, look at this is so thick. Oh my gosh. It's not a piece of paper. Well I guess it said it was an artboard. So I guess it is not a piece of paper. <laughs> I was right. I bet I could put like an acrylic painting on top of this and salvage this so it doesn't go to waste. I bet it would hold up too. But I did learn how the art supplies work together on it. So I definitely can pour the ink basically. <gasps> pour the ink? Oh, I'm tempted. I'm going to, here, I'm gonna turn this canvas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pencil because I like pencils. I'm gonna draw something and then I wanna pour ink on top of it. I'm just gonna draw just a character. That's all I ever draw, right? I'm gonna try and like render, well probably render it to the point that I rendered this one before I erased it. Because I kind of liked the way that looked at that point. And I just want to really take advantage of these artboards and the fact that they are just such a thick piece of paper. <laughs> just going over all the lines, darkening them up. Alright, you got a face. That's a good start. I don't know why I keep giving everyone these monkey ears. I'm just going through a phase. <laughs> Probably look back at it and be like, what was I thinking? But I am not there yet. His ears are not lined up. Holy moly. Better. Now we just need some kind of simple hairstyle. Because I kind of want the focal point to be obviously the crazy ink that I just destroyed my art with. <laughs> just nice simple ponytail. Oh, look, I give her bangs in. It's like some side swept stuff like that. I like they become the rest of this. Kind of like your small little bitty mouth. Is this ear not working? <laughs> Work with me here. <laughs> Work with me ear. I don't mind leaving it a little sketchy. So this is just an experiment anyway, but I'm gonna finish some of this because I just wanna. There we go. I got a nice little classy sketch. I think the first thing I might wanna do is just add an ink border. So grab that paintbrush, wherever I put it. Kind of just fill out the outside of the character just to get like a nice harsh edge. And then we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> I definitely prefer the ink, unless I'm trying to do denim. <laughs> Solid ink, cause it's less textured. I'm gonna take this dropper and start by just dropping along the outside edge here. I just drip a bunch. Kind of keep it sporadic, maybe. If I can lift this up and it'll drip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I love that. Although some of them didn't drip. So maybe I should drip them straight off the page. 
What I didn't do is put some up here. I could blow on it, but my oh, it like spreads out. Yeah, not really the look I'm looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in more here. Now that I'm not going to be lifting it anymore, let's kind of get rid of the lighter texture that I didn't like as much for this, for what I'm doing. When those dry, I do think I want to add a few more in specific places and then lift it so that it drips, but I can't do that right now because obviously these are still <laughs> wet. I can just tap it and get little dots. Actually, I can do this. Yeah, when this dries, I'm going to use this too, and I'm going to like push up against it while it's sideways, and then it's going to drip. Add this on top of the graphite, because I love me some pink noses. <laughs> that's a little crazy, but that's fine. I like grab it like this and blend it out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, those don't really lift to be real quick. Faster than me. Ooh. Ooh, so this, this is the crink mixed with the water, mixed with whatever little residue of blue ink was there and fell down. <laughs> it's kind of a pretty purple. You just add in lighter blush here and there. Yeah, that's kind of cute. Let's let that dry and then I'll, I'm really excited to add like a bunch more of this crink marker. But I think I need to wait for the ink to dry first so that I don't ruin it. All right, let's see that. So this is all dry now. Dry enough where I can do what I want to do. So I'm going to do is pump this up. Pumping up that party now. And first I want to just outline the character for a fun abstract pop of color. This also just kind of cleans up the edge. Let's see if I can get this to work. I had a little bit of trouble with this list. So you gotta splotch, hold it down, help. <laughs> That's not really working. So let some polka dots. Ah, look at the contrasting colors. <gasps> so pretty. Let's just put a bunch in here. Then over the drawing. <gasps> oh, I love that one. That seems to be the best way to do it. I do want to try and go and add some teal. Although I really like that mixed. I really like the teal when I add water to it. I like that pastel color. Oh, it also can do such a nice fine little point. I could color in the eyes with this. That might make them pop a little more. It might be subtle, but I think it's worth it. I'm gonna draw my own drip, see if I can make it actually look like a drip. Eh, maybe. So the, at this point, the only supply I haven't used is this vermilion, which I'm terrified of. All right, clean out this little palette of mine. Try to just draw a bunch of lines with this and then add water. You should have a nice teal. Kind of want to just color in, shade the hair with this. Ooh, just very subtle. Oops, add a little wherever it needs it. Oh no, the nose is bleeding. The nostril. What happened? I added water down there and there was some of this used on the nostrils and now we have a little bit of a mistake. I kind of have an idea to fix it though, so wish me luck. Luckily I haven't used any of that ink down here. All right, need to fix these nostrils. <laughs> I can either use a white gel pen or I can try something a little crazy and use this to light the underside of the nose. Oh shoot, it's still wet though. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it is, seems to be a little too dark. Let's make sure it's completely dry. A white gel pen is going to be in order. <laughs> I just keep making it worse. Figures right in the middle of the face. Let's try and lighten up the underside of the nose with a gel pen. Bring back what once was lost. Maybe if we just keep going over the pink, it'll eventually be light enough. Now she looks like she has a cold. Achoo! He's like doing some kind of weird Pledge of Allegiance. I mean, it looks better than the massive nostrils. <laughs> I just wanted to be happy with this. <gasps> Why? I really think a drip should be right here. Let that one fall. That one's a nice thick one. Now it should fall. Fall down. Why are you falling to the left? go a lot farther than that. And I'm just trying to distract from that honker right there. I mean, she could be like Waluigi's sister or something. 
I call this piece, mistakes are part of the process. Number 0405. If you're not experimenting, you probably aren't learning anything. Here we go. I did it. I was a little nervous. <laughs> I don't think I said anything when I was doing that. So worried I'd mess it up. Oh no! I had it perfect and I just went and put my dumb hand in it. Anyway, <laughs> here's what I made today. We have some sketches and doodles and swatches and more swatches and sketches and doodles. <laughs> I really like the colors. There might be a Magna girl. Probably should have just drawn her. But yeah, I kind of like the paintball splotchy effect. I do want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching me experiment with some new art supplies from the September Art Snacks Plus box. If you're interested in getting your own Art Snacks box, I'll have that link in the description right next to the giveaway link where I'll be giving away these art supplies to one of you. I want to thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys all next week. Hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.